Hi friends, welcome back to your practice. I am Katie Arnold and today we are going to talk about the yamas and niyamas. Now, if you haven't heard of these before, these are the ethical guidelines or ethical practices of yoga. So we're still talking about yoga today, but yoga is so much more than asana or our physical practice. There's all of these philosophical things that are rooted in yoga, that we've taken all of the postures and they come from these practices. So yamas and niyamas. Yamas are the restraints or often how we think of this is how I treat you, how you treat others. This still has to do with how you treat yourself, but it really starts by stemming from how we treat others. Niyamas or the observances are how you treat yourself, how you care for yourself, how I treat me. So yamas think of how I treat you, niyamas, how I treat me, like niyamas in a way, right? So let's get into them. First one, ahimsa. Ahimsa means nonviolence or kindness. This is the first yama and it everything that follows runs through this filter of ahimsa or runs through the filter of is this kind, is this nonviolent, is this non-harming. The second is satya or truthfulness. So we might start with that first filter of is this kind and then the next one is is this true. So being honest, not lying. Um, moving on, three is asteya or non-stealing. Now, this isn't just the practice of physically not going to the store and stealing your groceries, but paying for them. This is also stealing from others in terms of maybe their time or their energy, and then also not stealing from yourself, not stealing your own energy. Um, I also think a little bit of like not limiting yourself, like not stealing from your future by holding yourself back. Next is brahmacharya or non-excess. This doesn't mean you have to live like a monk or you have to live a super um, minimal life, but it does mean we don't need a whole lot of excess. Um, that could mean in terms of your health and it could mean in terms of your physical items that you own. So not living in excess. Next is a parigraha or non-possessiveness. This also means non-attachment. So this is something for me that is personally really hard sometimes. Not holding ourselves to an outcome, not attaching ourselves to a physical outcome or something that you want to happen. Next is saucha. Now this is the first of the niyamas and this is all about purity. So think our bodies, our thoughts, our words being cleansed. Moving on to santosha or contentment finding contentment in where we are right here and now. Next is tapas or self-disciplined. And there was this great quote in a book that I'm going to recommend for you all if you want to learn more and I'll, we'll get to that later. But she says, determined effort to become someone of character and strength. And I think that is so profound. So tapas can also mean like the physical work, physical effort. And this is kind of where you can think of the asana or that physical practice, putting in the work to get stronger, 
to learn the postures to improve and get better. Next is svadhyaya or self-study. This is the time to learn more about ourselves. This is also maybe that asana practice or your meditation practice where you're able to kind of tune in and listen to what comes up where you can notice your reactions to people, places, things, events, whatever, and learn from them to study yourself so you can keep getting better. And last of all is Ishvara Pranadana, which means surrender. I love to think of this as my meditation practice, as Shavasana at the end of our asana practices. Shavasana is so powerful, this opportunity to actually stop, surrender, let go is your time to then soak in all the benefits of all this other stuff. So if you want to learn more about the yamas and niyamas, they're so interesting and go far deeper than the general, very brief explanation that I just gave on each of them. I highly recommend you read The Yamas and Niyamas by Deborah Adele. I will include a link below for the book on Amazon if you are interested in reading it. It is one of my favorites to learn more about these ethical practices of yoga in a really comprehensible um, way, in a way that's really easy to understand. So. Those are the yamas and niyamas. Let me know what you think and I will see you guys next week. Hi friends. I'm just popping back in here real quick to ask you to please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Like this video, comment below, and if there's something specific that you want to see, let me know that as well. Go find me on Instagram at I am Katie Arnold and I would love to bring a class just for you.